young teenage black child, a young girl, stabbed to death after a friend allegedly refused flowers from ex-boyfriend. Elian Adam was brutally murdered as she was making her way to school in South London, England. 15 year old Adam and her friend were headed to school in South London. They were waiting at the bus during the morning rush hour as they were minding their business. A 17 year old who was allegedly the ex boyfriend of Adam's friend approached her holding flowers. And the love note. When a friend declined the gesture, witnesses claim that the young lady pictured stepped in to protect her friend from the aggression. This is when the boy, the teenager, the male, started to chase both of them with a black knife that was over a foot long before brutally stabbing the 15 year old girl multiple times in the neck and in the chest. She was pronounced dead shortly later by authorities. Later that same morning, the 17 year old child in question was arrested and remains in custody. Uh, The spokesperson for the family said, and I quote, our hearts are broken by the senseless death of our daughter. She was the light of our lives. She was bright and funny. With many friends who all adored her, she was only 15, had a whole life ahead of her with hopes and dreams for the future. All those dreams have now been shattered, our lives fallen apart, along with that of our wider family. We ask the media to please respect our privacy as we try to grieve the short life of our beautiful child. You know, this, um, This is even more, um, this has even more of an impact to the emotion because she was literally trying to save somebody else. And in her, in her saving somebody else, she ends up facing the ultimate destiny of death. She did not measure her actions, it was instinctive. It was a response out of love, love for her friend. And you you have to now question, well, why did the 17 year old male come there with flowers, love note, and a knife, and a knife? It, it is almost conclusive to at least say it was in his mind to do exactly what he did. While she may not have been the intended target in the development of this crime, um, she became the in fact target. So very sad. Our hearts and prayers are with the family. We'll definitely respect their wishes. Uh, Senator, thoughts here. Yeah, definitely condolences to the family. This is harrowing. And not only do you have a a 15 year old girl dead, uh, her friend will forever be traumatized, you know, for the rest of her life. And then you got a 17 year old, as you laid out the, the, the flowers, the note and the knife, you know, already at that age, exhibiting that type of aggression and violence. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, look, I just wish they would just yell at one another. Right. But to take it to a whole nother level to, with violence and, and a violence that ended up in, in a young lady losing her life. I mean, uh, a lot of speculation here is even making me think if he's comporting himself like that at 17, without some intervention and some help, he would have been a grown a man comporting himself the same way because he himself is still a child too. Right. And we know about brain development and what the science says. And I'm talking to, you know, one of the greatest doctors and scientists in the world. But doc, you know what the science says about development of the brain and not until you're 25, et cetera, et cetera. That doesn't excuse what he did. I'm not making any excuses. What I am saying is that this is deep 
And at 17, having that level of aggression is very telling. Extremely. Um, And and I want to highlight some stats in America. Let's put up the graphic because we have our issues here as well. In the United States, law enforcement is actually less likely to know black women and girls relationship uh, with their killers. Five black women and girls were killed each day in 2020, most of them with guns. As homicides increased nearly 30% nationwide that year, the rate for black women and girls rose by 33%. There were 1,821 black women and girls killed in 2020. And a handful of states, including Kentucky and Ohio, as well as DC, the number of killings doubled or even tripled. Killings of black women and girls increased across age groups from school aged children to senior citizens. Gun violence drove the increase, with three quarters of homicide victims who were black women and girls dying from gunshot wounds. So when people talk about why do you care so much about Gun reform. Well, this is part of it. It's called cause and effect. Cause and effect. All right. 